All right, so now that from the previous video, you've seen that we made it, we took the tape off. Now we're putting blue dye. Uh, we had to do a little more fill in here uh, to fit, because it wasn't perfect. So we had to fix it a little bit. And uh, right now we're putting the dye in. Khalid is caught cutting the pieces so he can block sand it. And what he does is these pieces will have like that. So when he sands, he sands. So what happens is if you sand with your hand, you dig here, you just slide it back and forth. And Galito is gonna demonstrate that for us in a little bit. He's just preparing everything. So this is all dyed, so that way we know where all the spots we missed, the high spot, low spots, everything, okay? So now that you've seen the blue eye from the previous video, we sanded everything down with the block sander like you saw how Galito was making it. You see the blue and then the green and the light blue? The dark blue is the low spots, so we have to fill. We still got a 77. So you can see there's a low spot right here, and it's not there. See, there's our line. That's why you need different different color hardeners, so we can identify where the low spots and the high spots are. Once we skim it with the all fair, then uh, we sand lightly sand it, and then we blue dye it, and we do that again, and make sure we have that. We have to fix all the imperfections. This is the process of fixing all the imperfections to make it right. See how low it is here? Very low. So now, uh, Galito is preparing the 77. This is the P77 again, like we've seen in previous videos. There he is there. He's going to put the hardener on it. This stuff you really don't want to get on your skin because it will burn. So now he's filling it in on the corners. And he puts pressure. So as he's applying, he's pushing it in. So he fills up all the little voids and stuff. Remember, the tape is on top. So we can peel the tape off. And just like you've seen in previous videos, it, you don't have to make such of a mess sanding. squeegee so he can put pressure on it and it takes the form remember we're only filling in the little voids now we just got to wait for the process to dry and then that's another thing with uh, when you're building boats or doing any fiberglass or anything like that uh, patience is definitely a virtue because you need to have patience but see how he's taking the tape off Now I'm gonna show you, now that he took the tape off, see the straight edge? See the straight edge? You see the edge, right? It's filled up all the voids. So now when you see that low spot that we've seen in the previous videos, here he is filling it up. Using the straight edge to make it as straight as possible to fill all the voids. <coughs> See the side's already done. And he had to fill it up a little bit in some of the voids to make it even so that way it's perfect. And once he's done sanding, we're gonna put the dye again in order to see the more lower high spots because it's impossible to see it with the white uh, P77. So there was a hole on this side, like a deep, deep drop and he filled it in. So we're filling up all the areas, all the lower areas. He fills it with his hands first and then he lays it. So even if it's built up higher than what it was, was then the other side, it doesn't matter because when he sands it, the dye, that'll turn white before the dye goes away. And then once the dye goes away, then it should all be even. Some of the patches 
he made there in the middle. He pulled the tape off. You see how he built it up. Now he'll sand it, then he'll dye it, and look to see if there's any more low spots. The high spots will go away once he block sands it until the dye goes away. Alright, so we're back in the video. And like we were doing all those blue spots that we see on this side. Yeah. See how we fill them in with 77? Here's the lip that we want to add to help to bring the nose down so you don't need trim tabs. That's the height roughly where we want to go. How much higher? Just in the back. From about right here to there. It'll, it'll be like a little pad lifted up. So that way it pushes the nose down while you're running. <laughs> and so you see all the dark blue spots are gone. They're all filled with white. And then he sanded it so it's all even. Also, let me show you on this side. See the angle? See how many of those holes there? See the angle, right? I'm moving. I'm moving? Same thing, the angle's the same way. Igual aquí, igual allá. Same as there, same as there, and the angle. Otra vez. That's how we get to look, the angle there and the angle in the same place. So it's all the same. That's what takes time. It takes a lot of time. So in a couple videos, we're going to show the degrees. I'm not going to tell you what the degree is. We have an idea what the degree is, but we're going to actually show you what the degree, the dead rise on this is. The dead rise on this boat is more than what this boat really needs, but the reason we did that is because we wanted to make this a dry riding boat. So you can go in shallow water and go in a little bit of chop without getting beat up. So now, now that uh, we got everything pretty much straightened out, so now all this has been sanded with 36 grit to be as even as possible with the block sander. You're gonna use 77 and we're gonna fill it up from here all the way down. And he's gonna use, he's making his templates. When he does it, he'll have the 77 he'll work it. So he fills all the voids and all the stuff. So that's what he's gonna do now. So you're gonna see that in a little bit. Right now we're preparing the P77 to fill in the size like we showed in the previous video. Remember, mix it to all it's one solid color now that it has swirls in it. He has the tape up here so he doesn't destroy doesn't destroy his setup already. Remember, it's already we already fixed that. So now that's just the protects and we're gonna run it from here all the way down. He's doing the white spots first. So he's doing the whites first so we know the high and lows. before he does it and after he does it. <clears throat> so now now see where the white spots now shows through that's that's fine so now he'll sand this again so now we're filling up the ones where the blue dyed from we saw before He's filling up those areas. He puts a tape there so he doesn't lose the mark on the on the on the edge. Yeah. The edge here, he doesn't lose that edge, so he keeps that tape there to protect it. Again, we're using P77 to fill in. That's the filler. Remember, this is only a plug. And that's how he screws it out. So now that he put the thing, he sanded it, but you see how he blocks it. He doesn't do it really hard, and he just goes in patterns. Yeah, see this is the high side and this is the low side. See how, so this is the same level as this. We had to fill this in to make get all the imperfections out of the boat <laughs> so he doesn't want to use the big one for here because it's a small area so he's going to use the small one for this area because it's a small area so he doesn't damage or uh, ruin the highness or the, the, the you don't want it high you don't want it high or low so want to make it even so when he sands it 
This is the high part, this is the low part. So when, when you come, you don't feel any dimples. That's the whole idea. I asked them a question, why, why don't we use this one, which bends easy, compared to the solid one? He says, because what happens is this will lie to you. It won't really give you the true reading. The solid one gives you the true reading up and down and side to side to make it even. Because this is so flexible, let me just show you real quick how flexible it is. It'll make, it'll make holes. This doesn't flex, it's solid. So that way how we get the straight pattern. If you use it only like that, look, look, look at the grooves that it makes. So we did this just to show the proof of point. So if you go straight only, see how it grooves, you can see the difference? That's why he's gotta mix it up to make the smoothest. So he's gonna do that now. All right, so we're gonna go back. Uh, Carlito's mixing uh, the P77. Remember that we did the block straight. We're gonna show you what happens when you do it that way, for just for showing purposes. So we're, we're using pink now to just so you can distinguish what we did wrong when we sanded it wrong, just so you can see it. his template there that he put tape so it won't stick. You see, because we didn't sand it right, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see, you can see the line that you made if you sand it straight like this, instead of doing it in different angles, this is the result of it. So now we have to build that up to fix it. But we just wanted to show you what the effects are if you don't sand it properly, you make more work for yourself. So you can't put too much pressure because then you'll show it. You're not supposed to do a lot of pressure anyways. See, it's built up. It's more work if in doing it the way we did it wrong. Again, we did it for testing purposes. So what happens is when you do that, you kind of keep adding more pace and more pace is more work. Again, this was only for testing purposes to show uh, in the video what happens and what the effects are is when we do it wrong. <coughs> it's disappearing. see so we made it disappear but see how much work we had to do like almost three four times to cover it now we let it dry to a certain point then we lightly sand it while it's still somewhat tacky and then uh, we sand it once it's completely dry and it is the result of not doing things right that's why it's important that everything is sanded properly so now you make more work for yourself so here's another spot that we did if you notice it's it's pretty much even across and we haven't even sanded it yet we still need to sand it so when we sand it it'll be perfect perfect and you see the areas that it still has light that'll be sanded it'll be all evened out
see less light that was just a little bit of sanding just wanted you guys to see what it takes Yeah, it's gone. See? That's what that's what I wanted to show you. 